Hello Exiles, this is Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming and welcome to another Path of Exile video. If you look at this node right here, this Ascendancy node, it says Onslaught and it's pretty good. It's on the Raider and it grants you 20% increased attack, cast, and movement speed. A lot of people like having Onslaught and go out of their way to get it. What if I told you, you could on almost every character, basically every character except maybe a summoner, you could have this node for free. All you have to do is give up one flask slot. And the one I'm talking about is Rotgut. Rotgut is an extremely common Quicksilver flask. It's very cheap, it's very common, and all you have to do is uh, go to your crafting bench here and for the price of five instilling orbs and five glass blowers bobbles, uh, you quality this up with glass blowers bobbles, and then you have reuse at the end of flask effect. Put that on there, and I will demonstrate how it works. You can do this on any character that can generate uh, frenzy charges, and pretty much any character can generate frenzy charges as long as they have blood rage. So it's very, very easy. Uh, you can get very long effect on uh, Rot Gut. I have a low duration uh, roll on here, but if I wanted to use a Divine, in fact, yeah, this is basically the low level. I'll do a level 16 uh, alleyways really quick just to kind of show uh, that. I'm, I'm not going to put anything fancy. I do have some uh, sextants on there, but outside of that, just going to do a regular tier 16 Elkton Go. And uh, so I put on, I put on my blood rage, I lag rock, and then as soon as I get three frenzy charges, I pop on, and now I have onslaught, and I'm going to continue to have onslaught uh, for presumably the rest of the map without having to press any more buttons. So go ahead and get this going. And yeah, as you can see, uh, Rock Gut just keeps going. I keep having Onslaught. Uh, I'm usually able to generate the Frenzy Seriously? Charges by time the Onslaught falls off. Uh, and it's much easier on some, but as long as you continue to go through and kill monsters, you're going to be able to have it up all the time. And many, many builds will benefit more greatly than the Spectral Shield Throw character from having Onslaught all the time. So we'll be able to get that going as well but and the only problem is when you have to stop to loot or do some stuff but if you're really speeding through a map uh yeah onslaught city baby so got that going and luckily my shield charge does benefit from both that uh both the movement speed and attack speed so i guess i do have that going for me but yeah you're going to be mapping faster and you're going to be uh, you can actually equip this at level 40, so you can use this while leveling as well. And it's even easier if you have other ways to generate frenzy charges, such as uh, on a trickster or on a raider. If you don't want to get the onslaught nodes and you want to get the phasing stuff, uh, you can use this and still have permanent onslaught on your raider. And not only that, but things like trickster and raider can keep this up permanently against bosses too, because there's an extra line here, which is... Uh, you have a chance of gaining uh, frenzy or er, flash charges on this when you deal a critical strike, and this is incredibly powerful on you know critical strike builds, meaning you can permanently have onslaught up on boss fights as well as long as you have other ways to generate uh, frenzy charges. So let's just do this boss real quick, and as you can see, it does fall off during the bossing, unfortunately. Uh, because I don't have ways to generate frenzy charges uh, during the boss fight itself. But, outside of that, I was able to zoom through the whole map pretty quickly, and uh, get that done. So, there you go. Cool. Perfect. So, there you go. Uh, great demonstration. I just wanted to show you this short video. Uh, as far as what you can do ooh, what's this ah distant memory sick hell yeah um so yeah you can do this on anything that generates frenzy charges if you don't naturally do it just put blood rage onto your build and you'll automatically generate frenzy charges you can also do this with poachers mark uh if you're doing like uh, 
you know, a kind of build that might run Poacher's Mark. I don't think that's necessary, but uh, Blood Rage will do the trick on any kind of fast build. But yeah, it's really strong. I hope you try it out. This has been Ryan from Behind Eyes Gaming, and I will see you next time. Bye!